If you believed that 100% of the time you were gonna get a result, would you make more calls? Would you do more meetings? Would you present more carrybacks? Absolutely you would. So it's not that you can't do it, it's just that you don't believe that you can get a result. Here's the reality. By learning the scripts as it's laid out, a lot of the questions and objections that you're worried about getting, you're not gonna get. The reason it's laid out the way it's laid out is for you to get results. All these scripts do is get results and you're not always gonna get a result. At least you know if you don't get a result. Well, it wasn't the call, it wasn't the confirmation, it wasn't the appointment, it wasn't the info gather, but as soon as you start doing it on your own and you start calling people, telling you we're doing some insurance thing and you start making it your own and, and you got these weird scripts that nobody on, on your team can do. So the, the, the answer is simple. You gotta get everybody doing the same thing right? Stop looking at the script going, well, is it perfect? It doesn't matter if it's perfect. It's effective when everybody's using it. And hey, look, in a little bit, you guys, we're going to be breaking off into rooms and we'd love you to participate, right? We'd love you to, uh, to, to come off mute and participate and be a part of the rooms and, you know, not, not necessarily be a passenger anymore, but start to be a driver, start to be a learner. You know, 99%, uh, so listen, of the people that quit, 99% of them are non-participants in Zoom breakout rooms. I'm going to repeat that. Of the people that quit, 99% of them are the non-participants in Zoom breakout rooms. So make sure that you're a part of it, right? Make sure, I see there's even some dogs that are on camera right now tonight, right? Even the, even the puppies are here to learn, right? So everybody's here to learn tonight. So I just wanna, I wanna float something by you here as we start. I got a question for you. If you believed that 100% of the time you were gonna get a result, would you make more calls? Would you? Would you do more meetings? Would you present more carrybacks? Absolutely you would. So it's not that you can't do it, it's just that you don't believe that you can get a result. Here's the reality. By learning the scripts as it's laid out, a lot of the questions and objections that you're worried about getting, you're not going to get. The reason it's laid out the way it's laid out is for you to get results. All we want you to do is get results. All these scripts do is get results. And you're not always going to get a result, but at least you know. At least you know if you don't get a result. Well, it wasn't the call, it wasn't the confirmation, it wasn't the appointment, it wasn't the info gather, but as soon as you start doing it on your own, and you start calling people, telling you we're doing some insurance thing, and you start making it your own, and, and you got these weird scripts that nobody on, on your team can do. You can't get five or six of your teammates in a room, and they can't all say the same thing. If that's you and your team right now, you're running an unduplicatable business. There's probably low production, there's probably low recruiting. There's probably low results. So the, the, the answer is simple. You got to get everybody doing the same thing, right? Stop looking at the script going, well, is it perfect? It doesn't matter if it's perfect. It's effective when everybody's using it. Does that make sense? It's more important that everybody's using it than it makes sense in your brain, okay? Uh, we've been around a long time, so we, we know it works. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shift gears now. I'm going to train on the field part. You know what I love about this, this script manual? Okay, is if you go to the top, I don't know how this happened. This is like, this is technology. Proper uh, field edification, you click on the number 20, it goes to the, it goes to, now it's not doing it. Oh yeah, it does. That goes right to the page. I don't know how that happens. Like that's the most amazing thing to me since the invention of the internet, where I could click on a number and it goes to a page. So maybe somebody can explain to me later on how that works. I can't wrap my head around that right now because I'm just focused on doing the script as it's laid out. So let me talk to you about edification on the appointment, okay? So let me set the stage. I'm on a meeting and I there's, there, there's the client. So I got Rach and Roni, they're my clients or the prospects. I got the trainer, we'll say the trainer's Kyle and then I'm the trainee and I'm sitting there, right? And we've prepped going in and I gotta be really clear on a couple of things. I gotta be really clear what's my role but really what's my story? You gotta get your story straight. I want everybody to write two or three things down right now about your story. What is it, why are you here? What is it to you? Are you here to retire your spouse? You get paid what you're worth, contribution, growth. I want you to write two or three things down. You gotta memorize that because that's your story. Now we're gonna role play a bit. So we're on a Zoom call or we're in person now and it's Rach and Roni are sitting across the table or on the Zoom call. I got Kyle, right, beautiful deep voice Kyle. Okay, I could just close my eyes and listen to Kyle train all day. And then I got me, I'm the trainee. And we're sitting there and the trainer cues the call. 
What does the trainer say? All right, Steve, let's get started. And that's my cue. That's my cue. All right, Daryl, let's get started. All right, Nabby, let's get started. All right, Chris, let's get started. And then it's your turn as the trainee to speak. And here's what you say. So, Rach, Roni, let me tell you why I got started. You know, I got introduced to this great company about 18 months ago. And here's why I'm super excited. You know, as you know, I've been looking for something to try and get my wife at home. Man, she works so hard. We got three kids, right? She's out every day working eight hours a day. Man, this business is going to allow me and us the opportunity to keep her at home. Secondly, man, I just want to get paid what I'm worth. I'm the hardest working guy at my, at my job. I'm always getting passed up for promotions. I've seen the glass ceiling. Roni, I'm not sure if you can relate, but man, I'm done with that, right? I'm ready to take control of my business and my life. And you know what? I'm grateful that this company is going to allow us to accomplish those things. But before I pass it over to Kyle, I'd like to take a minute to thank him for his time. Kyle is a senior partner with the firm. This guy is so giving. He's here tonight, you guys, Rachel Ramone, he's here tonight, right, on his time to give a great presentation to you, to teach you about what we do, and I get to sit here and I get to learn from one of the best in the business. So Kyle, I'm super grateful you're here. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be sitting here taking some notes and I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to Kyle. That's the script. That's it. Can you imagine a scenario where you've made a proper phone call, you've edified the trainer on the confirmation, you've introduced the trainer that way on the call, and guess what the first words out of Kyle's mouth are going to be? I don't want to spoil the surprise. We're not training on it tonight. Ready? So I've done all that. And then here's what Kyle says in his, in his, in his deep voice. Thanks for the introduction, Steve. Rach, Roney, I want to take a minute and thank you for your time. Because you guys took time out of your schedule tonight to be here. And I know it means a ton to Steve. And he has nothing but unbelievable things to say about you. Let me type him outcome for today. That's the transition. So, so I've spent three, two phone calls and, and, and an introduction to lift my trainer up, and he's up here now. And the first thing that he does is he reaches down and pulls up Rachel Moni and puts them above him. Do you guys understand what edification is all about now? Do you guys see how important this is? I literally, okay, the way I made six figures in my first seven months licensed was simple. I got super good at the phone call. I got super good at the confirmation, edifying my trainer when need be. I got super good at learning and teaching the field edification script on the, on the appointments. And then I mastered the presentation info gather and the rest was just running numbers. At that point, all you have to do is run numbers and the results are going to start to come. So I hope you guys got some value to that training. Okay, again, if you believe that you would get a result every time, would you be doing more? So you wanna learn this stuff. So in a minute, I, and, I, and I believe Trey's gonna come back and introduce it, but in a minute, we're gonna head into breakout rooms and we're gonna practice a few things, okay? First, we're gonna, we're gonna practice booking an appointment, just like you heard Colton do. Secondly, so even if you're a, an old agent, you're still going to practice booking a new appointment if you're, as if you're a new agent. The second thing is we're, you're going to practice handling a few objections. Just like Kyle went over, you're going to practice the same ones. Okay, and if there's time, maybe your trainer will throw in an extra one, right? That would be a bonus for you. Next, we're going to practice confirming the appointment, right? Edification, confirming the appointment. And lastly, you're going to practice edification of your trainer and telling your story in the field. And if you're so blessed, everybody's going to get one shot. You're going to go round robin. So I hope you're ready to participate. I hope you're ready to come off mute. I hope you're ready to pay some respect to the trainer in your group. I hope you're here to learn. And in a minute, we're going to break you off. So I'm going to pass it back over to you, Trey. Thank you for the opportunity. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a breakout room. Hey guys, I want to share with you a special tradition that we have on our team. And I'm going to be handing this out tonight at the end of training. So in our team, when you cross six figures a year of income, 
uh, I get you a writing instrument. It's not a pen, it's a writing instrument, and we get your initials on it. So we just had another six-figure earner crossing our team. It's, it seems like every month now, uh, there's a six-figure earner that's gonna be crossing. I think next year will be probably another 30 or 40 people cross six figures, but um, we put your initials on it. We had a nice little Mont Blanc pen. Uh, this is for my great friend, Trey Lansdell, and, and his beautiful wife, Ashley. So I'm gonna be handing this out to him today. It's just a, a small token of our appreciation for him going out and helping a bunch of families and, and making six figures um, off his own pen. So uh, really proud of you, Trey and Ash. You guys are gonna get this tonight. You don't even know it yet. So by the time everyone sees this video, the cat's gonna be out of the bag. I just wanted to share with you guys a cool tradition that we do in our team. If you like this training, make sure to watch this next one because I know you're gonna love it.